Hi, I'm Jonathan Fanning, and I want to talk about a leadership blunder and how much this blunder that you and I make and that I just witnessed committed by two organizations that everyone watching this video would know if I mentioned the names. But then really, how much does this blunder cost us as leaders and cost our organizations? The meeting I recently attended was a board meeting for a nonprofit, massive nonprofit, great nonprofit, and a for-profit company that supports them tremendously. The leadership teams from both organizations were going through what needs to get done. How does it need to get done? When does it need to get done? By whom does it need to get done? And I'm watching and I'm thinking from, from on one angle, I'm thinking this is a textbook board meeting. Run very well, the people are staying on task. But then I look around the room and I started to get this feeling. Something is missing. Something is missing. And it's not a minor thing. It's a radically major thing. And I realized we talked about what, how, when, who, but we missed, in that whole meeting, we missed why. We missed why are we doing this? Why are we here? Why do we exist in the first place? And I noticed, and here's the cost of that, I noticed the engagement in the room. And the engagement was not that high. Scale of 1 to 10, scale of 0 to 100%. The engagement was maybe 60%, 50%, 40% talking with people after the meeting, I realized that they were not that full of energy, full of inspiration to go and chase this cause down. Yeah, they had their little lists, but when was the last time you went through a day not at 100% inspiration or engagement? Happens all the time, right? But think about the last time you went through a day or part of a day at or near 100% engagement or inspiration. That's what the why does. That's what the why does. Let me ask you this. How much is that costing you? How much is it costing your organization? I know I've done it. Just in terms of leading, not an organization or people, but yourself. How often, I started thinking, how often do I go through a day without that why? Why am I doing this? I have my list of things to do, but why am I going through this list? So you look at the greatest leaders and they find ways to keep that why in front of themselves and in front of their teams and in front of their groups and organizations constantly. Look at video or listen to audio of Martin Luther King Jr. giving speeches. I've never seen one where he didn't remind the group of why are we doing this? That's my challenge to you. Make the why the center of your days. Don't let a meeting go by where people say, why are we really here? Why are we really doing this? A little perspective, a little outside perspective. I bet if those two leaders leading that, that uh, meeting who are watching from the outside, I bet they'd probably come up with the same answer. Say, wait a second, we missed this. Sometimes we need that outside perspective. I'm Jonathan Fanning. I hope this adds value. I hope this serves you.